Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So, today is going to be another Woman Crush Wednesday inspired look. And today we're going off of this picture right here, which is Miss Binti Vegas on Instagram. Um, she has this bright red, like shimmery eye look. And I'm going to try to recreate that using some affordable makeup palettes. Um, so, I already did my eyebrows and um, carved them out off camera using the NYX brow pencils and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. And then I primed my eyelids this time with the Anastasia eye primer. So we're gonna go into our Coastal Sense 252 palette. And we're gonna use the palette that has the most red. It's brown and stuff. We're gonna use this palette, which is like all, well not all, but a lot of reds and bright colors. So, hmm. So I'm gonna go into this brown and put that into my crease as our transition shade, hopefully. Okay, yeah. And with that, I just, <clears throat> this is my first time using the Anastasia eyelid primer and it's already like moving from my crease area. So moving on, I'm gonna use my Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna go right into some red, so. I'm gonna go into this red right here. And I might even take it onto my whole lid space too. But right now we're gonna focus on blending that red into the brown that we already put down. Switch back to your wet and wild brush and go back into that brown and blend right above the red. So just blend, blend, blend. That's that's all you need to do. Switching back to the M506, continue to blend. One thing I will say about this palette is some of the shades are kind of ashy looking, but it's all good. All right, I want this red to be a little bit deeper. So, I'm going to try to deepen it up with, um, I'm gonna go into the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place and use this shade right here and put that over the red that we already just put down. Way more pigment. And we're just gonna build it up until it gets to the red that we want it to be. Only because I don't have a palette that has just a flat out red matte shade, which now I know I need to get one. Switch back, blend out the edge. Okay, we're gonna go back into the 252 palette. And this shade right here to deepen up our outer corner. And I'm using the same brush that I put down the brown shade. And I'm just patting that in. I'm not swiping, just pressing that shade in, just so that it can be deep enough. The the pigment can be deep enough. And 
Now you can start blending that outer corner shade up into your crease a little bit, but not too far over. So now I feel like I need more red. Take my M408 brush and go into that red shade that we put down first from the 252 palette. And just pat that on, pressing it in. And I'm also gonna cover my lid because we're gonna put a red shimmery color over the lid space, but I want it to be red, red. And you just keep <clears throat> building it until you get it to where you like it to be, how deep you want your red to be. Now we're gonna go back into our Wet n Wild blending brush and go into the red again and just dust it over where we put that darker color down because I don't want it to be too dark. Because we want the focus of this look to be red. So now I'm gonna switch to a clean Wet n Wild brush and go into, this is also a blending brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna go into this shade and this shade. So those two. And go back into the outer corner, up into your crease a bit. So now taking the Morphe M421 brush. I, I see that she had like a little bit of pink. I don't know if it's sparkly, but I feel like it's not. So I'm gonna go into this pink here and put that closer into the inner corner. Hopefully it shows up. Mine is definitely looking pink and not red, but maybe if I add some orange over it. We're gonna go into the M514 brush and blend everything out. It's clean, I don't have any product on the brush. Her lid is shimmery. I'm gonna apply some of my um, glitter primer first. And I don't have a shade that really is like red and glittery in that palette, so I'm gonna switch to <clears throat> the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette, this one. And I'm gonna use this shade. I'm gonna go back in with my M408 brush and just pack that onto my lid. Then I'm gonna go into the um, Jackie Ina palette from ABH and use the shade Zam and go over that um, shimmery shade we just put down. And I'm still using the same brush.
Moving on to the face. I'm gonna prime my face with the Hangover RX primer. <coughs> so today I'm gonna be trying a new brand of foundation and it's the Oma Beauty um, line. Okay. And I also have their Woke um, Concealer. So I got the foundation in the shade Brown Sugar T4N. Let's see if you can see that. And the concealer in Brown Sugar T3. Hopefully it works because I do not have the receipt for it. I cannot find it. So this is a new black owned brand. And I've been looking at it for a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just try it because as you guys know, I've been struggling to find um, a foundation shade that really matches my skin. We're gonna try this. This is a weightless soft matte hydrating foundation. So let's see. I think I'm gonna just apply it straight to my face and then blend it out using my beauty blender or yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna apply it straight to my face with a brush then um, blend it out with a beauty blender. Pump onto the brush, it's a little bit watery. That's kind of scary. And press it into our face. I just applied it with the brush and now I'm gonna blend it out with the beauty blender. And so far, it's looking pretty good. What do you guys think? It seems like it has a smell. It's not like super overpowering. Powering. Super overpower. What the freak? It's not super overpowering. What do y'all think that it matches me, oh my gosh. <laughs> but let me not get too happy too quick. Cause I know a lot of the times I'm like, oh, this matches me. And then when I go back and look at the footage, <laughs> it does not. Yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think. Do you think it matches me? Hopefully this concealer is not watery like <clears throat> the foundation was but we're gonna see. So this is the shade T Brown Sugar T3. Mm, it seems pretty creamy and thick. I like it so far, <laughs> you know. And I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender, the same one that I did with my foundation. And I didn't let this sit because I feel like it's gonna dry down pretty quick because it's so, it was like really thick and kind of stiff to move, which isn't bad, but I just don't want it to get stuck and not be able to blend out. And I'm gonna go around the edges with the end that we blended out our foundation with. Okay, so that's the two products that I got from Oma Beauty so far. I might get more because this concealer is amazing. So I am going to contour my face with the Makeup Revolution C um, 
16. Now I'm going to set the concealer with Makeup Revolution's setting powder in terracotta. So to set my contour, I'm gonna go into Morphe's Brontour in the shade Showman's as usual. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M530 brush and I just go into both shimmer and dark and press. And then go back into your beauty sponge, I mean beauty blender, and press everything in, especially on your nose because, well on my nose because I don't like a harsh nose contour. So I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Press Powder in Pecan. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques powder brush. And just go all over my face. So now I'm going to add my blush. And I'm using the Rimmel London Maxi Blush in the shade Rendezvous. And I'm gonna use the Real Techniques blush brush. So now I'm gonna highlight using Dose of Colors um, Supreme Glow Highlighter in Melanade. And I'm gonna apply that with the M10 brush from Morphe. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with the same shade. Now I'm going to set my face with Morphe's Continuous Spray, I mean Continuous Setting Mist.
and then press the access in. So now we're gonna go back to the eyes and I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Precision Smudger in the, in, in the shade, in the number 124. And I'm gonna go into the Juvia's, Pe Juvia's Place Zulu palette into the red and go on the bottom lid. Then I'm gonna go into this brown and go on the bottom lid with that too. Then I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics um, 125 brush, which is the smoky liner. And we're gonna go into Trust Issues for our inner corner. Now I'm gonna apply my lashes and liner off camera and then I'll come back. Okay, so I applied my lashes off camera and I used the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on my bottom lashes. And for my top lashes, I used Too Faced Damn Girl. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our lips and I'm gonna use the NYX um, Lip Pencil and Espresso, I think. Yeah, an espresso. Then I'm gonna go into Spicy Brown and Ruby Kisses. I mean, Spicy Brown by Ruby Kisses and Brown Sugar by Ruby Kisses. Just put brown sugar right in the center and spicy brown is like kind of where you put your liner and now we're gonna go into Morphe's um, gloss and free bird This is the finished look. Um, in my opinion, it looks nothing like the picture, but I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> it don't look like the picture, but I tried. You know, I don't have the right red shades with all these palettes that I have. I need to invest in some red because I really do like that um, that color. But yeah, the concealer and foundation though, <laughs> I'm so happy. It actually matches me. It wasn't, you know, it's not ashy looking. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It don't look muddy. It's literally my perfect match. And I couldn't be happier. I really do like this concealer. It's like really thick and creamy and easy to blend out. I'm looking in the mirror, but yeah. And the foundation, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say besides thank God it matches and blends well. Um, at first when I put it on the brush, I was like, it's a little bit too watery. So I was a little nervous because I was thinking like, they saying it was matte, full coverage. But, well, I don't even know if it said full coverage while I'm saying that. But I was thinking like, it's not gonna cover up anything. I don't even need like to be full coverage, like to have full coverage makeup. But I do like it. Oh, it says for medium 
coverage used sparsely for full coverage used generously. So, and for extreme coverage, apply multiple layers. I think I applied one layer or two. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's enough coverage for me because I don't have like a lot of blemishes on my face or dark spots that I need to cover up. So the coverage is perfect for me. And thank you, Oma Beauty, for making a shade that matches me. And I got it right on the first try of, of putting it on, all on my own, swatching it on my own, you know, because folks don't be trying to help you. So you gotta do it by yourself. And it always helps to have a brand that thinks about all shades of brown. So yeah, I like the foundation. It's not cheap. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I mean, it's a good quality product, so I don't mind paying for it. I don't even remember the price, honestly, but I just know it wasn't cheap. So I do think, I think the concealer was like $24. You know what? Let me not even lie to y'all. I'm gonna look it up. It's $39 for the foundation and the concealer is $25. So yeah, not, not super cheap, but not super expensive either. So, I mean, if you, are okay with paying for the Too Faced foundations, the Fenty and all of that is still right in that same price range. So far, I have two shades that match me and that's the L'Oreal Chestnut and the Oma Beauty in Brown Sugar T4N. So if you're anywhere near my shade, my complexion, those two shades are working for me so far. I still have to use the Chai foundation that I went and picked up and see if that matches me, but we'll see that in another video. So. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, so that you never miss a, another video from me. And comment down below if you have any more, like, pro like not products, any more brands of foundation that I should try um, that might have my shade, my complexion, you know, shade range, whatever. If you know any more um, brands that I should try for that, leave it in the comments below. And also tell me what you think of this look in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video.